Uh, I want to get to Max Zahn, our reporter from Yahoo Finance, who has been, you know, one of the heroes behind the scenes here, working the ground for us, get, bringing us uh, some information and intelligence. And today you were one of the first to be there for uh, uh, Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin's presser. He held a press conference and you asked a question about climate change. Tell us about it. Yes, I did. I got a chance to ask Steve Mnuchin about Greta Thunberg and her call for divestment from fossil fuel companies. There's been a back and forth here at Davos between Thunberg and the Trump administration, though each hadn't mentioned the other by name, but sort of disputing how to approach the issue. And Mnuchin, in response to Greta Thunberg's call for divestment, asked jokingly, who is she? You know, is she the chief economist? And then followed up saying that she needs to go to college and study economics and come back and explain her proposal to us. So a pretty forceful, forceful dismissal of fighting Thunberg. words is what they call that. I yeah, mean, some people would say, oh, snap, but other people <laughs> wouldn't. I mean, you know, it's interesting yeah. how she has really caught the attention of the administration like that. I mean, you know, he was saying in jest, who is that? Who is this young woman? But she is someone, you know... She's she caused was, quite a stir. Whether you agree with her or not, that's she, right. she definitely I mean, has. That's right. She is definitely part of the conversation, not only here, but globally as well. Now, President Trump, during his speech, did say that he was going to be part of this initiative. The U.S. will be part of this, you know, plant a trillion trees initiative. And Greta Thunberg did say, OK, that's good, but it's not nearly enough, right? Yeah, she said that it's, it's a good step, but it doesn't go far enough and quickly enough. And that's been a debate here. Do we take incremental steps and positive steps, as some want to, or, as Greta says, take quicker steps to reduce our carbon emissions? You know, one thing I think is really important, you guys, for conservatives and moderates to remember about someone like Greta Thunberg is that there needs to be people like that pushing the envelope, mm -hmm. right? I mean, maybe if you're a real dyed in the wool and never want anything to change, you don't, you don't buy into this. But it's good to have people pushing the boundaries, and then you might end up compromising and getting halfway there. And right. maybe it'll be the right thing to do. But if we don't have people speaking out and trying to change our thinking, we'll never have any progress on this planet. Well, you know, Trump left today, uh, Davos, but before he left, reporters asked him, did you get a chance to hear Thunberg speak? And he said, no, I, I actually regret not having heard her speak. And if you remember early on with, with Greta and, and climate change, he called it fake news. And right. somebody asked him, does he still feel that way today? And he said, no, not at all. So I think we're still trying, or he may be figuring out too, just what his stance is on climate change going forward. And later in the press conference after Mnuchin sort of dismissed Greta, he then went back to the, the administration's policy on climate mm -hmm. and said, listen, people misinterpret where we stand on this. We do think this is an important issue. We didn't like the Paris Climate Accord because we felt like it was unfair for the United States in demanding what he thought was more from the U.S. than other countries. Mm -hmm. But he did reiterate that we take this issue seriously. And, you know, while that isn't maybe as serious as Greta Thunberg wants. It does suggest that the administration is hearing some of what people at Davos are saying and what people like Greta are saying. Yahoo Finance reporter Max Zahn, thank you very much for that. Yeah, thank Good you. Good work, Appreciate thank you. It.